Hey everyone, so Surfshark has quickly become one of the most popular VPNs out there for Mac users, and for good reason. It offers a great mix of value, features, and ease of use, making it an excellent option whether you're brand new to VPNs or you're just looking for something straightforward that works well. In this guide, I'll walk you through how to set up Surfshark on your Mac, how to get the most out of its features, and a few tips that can make your experience even better. And if you decide you want to give it a try, I'll include a link in the description to any current discounts I can find, which should also get you some extra free months on top of the standard offer. Now before we get into the installation process, you will need a subscription to use Surfshark. The easiest way to get that is by heading to their website, clicking Get Surfshark, and choosing the plan that works best for you. There are three main tiers to choose from. Surfshark Starter gives you the VP along with the clean web ad blocker, a cookie pop-up blocker, and the alternative ID tool. It's perfect if you mainly want Surfshark just for VPN use. Surfshark 1 includes everything in the starter tier, but also adds antivirus protection and Surfshark Alert, which monitors the web for data breaches involving your personal information. This is the plan I'd recommend for most people, as it gives you a complete security kit for not much more than the starter. And then there's Surfshark 1 Plus, which adds personal data removal from company databases and people search sites. This is only available in the US, Canada, UK, and EU. So unless you're in one of those regions and really want that feature, it's not going to be worth paying extra for. Plan links are available monthly, yearly, or for two years, and you'll save the most with the one or two year options. Both come with three free months included, and if you use the link in the description, you'll get an additional month free for a total of four extra months. Once you've chosen your plan and duration, just click Get Plan, fill in your email and billing info, and hit complete purchase. From there, you'll be ready to download the app for your Mac and get started. Once your subscription is set up, downloading Surfshark for your Mac is pretty straightforward. You'll either get a download link in your confirmation email or you'll be redirected to the download page right after checkout. Just click to download the installer, then open it once the file finishes downloading. The installation only takes a few clicks. Just follow the on-screen prompts and in less than a minute, you should be ready to launch the app. When you open Surfshark for the first time, log in with the same email and password you used when signing up. From here, you'll see the main dashboard, and this is where you'll do pretty much everything, from connecting to servers, to running speed tests, to using the extra features that come with your plan. On the left side of the app, you'll see the main menu, with the VPN section right at the top. This is where you'll spend most of your time. If you know exactly where you want to connect, you can just use the search bar to find a country. Next to that, you'll see a small meter icon, which opens Surfshark's built-in speed tester. This runs through all 3,200 plus available servers in 100 countries, and shows you the fastest options for your location. It only takes a few seconds, and it's a really handy way to pick the best server without guessing. For connecting, you've got a couple of options. Quick Connect will automatically choose the best performing server for you, which is perfect if you just want to get connected fast. You can also change the default Quick Connect country in settings if you prefer. Or, if you want to connect manually, just search for a location and double click on it. And if there are countries you use often, click the star icon next to them to add them to your favorites list for quick access later. One feature available on all plans is Alternative ID, which can generate a completely fake online identity. Things like name, address, date of birth, gender, and even a working email address you can use for signups. It's designed to make you less vulnerable to scams and phishing attempts. If you need it, there's also a paid add-on that gives you an alternative phone number. If you're on the Surfshark 1 or OnePlus plan, you'll also see the antivirus and alert tabs. Antivirus works like you'd expect, providing malware protection. Alert scans the web, including people search sites and parts of the dark web, for any personal data leaks. Then in the settings section, you can toggle on clean web for ad, tracker, and malware blocking. Enable the kill switch to cut your internet if the VPN disconnects, and choose your preferred VPN protocol. I'd recommend WireGuard for the best speed, but if you run into connection issues, switching to automatic is a good backup. Advanced settings include rotating IP, which changes your IP address periodically without changing your location, and no borders mode, which kicks in if you're on a restrictive network and need access to otherwise unavailable servers. Finally, the app settings let you adjust the interface appearance, change the language, manage your account, or get in touch with Surfshark's 24-7 live support directly directly from the app. So that's the full setup and feature rundown for Surfshark on Mac. Overall, it's one of the easiest VPNs to get started with, and once you're familiar with the app layout, switching between servers, running speed tests, and using the extra tools becomes second nature. Whether you're mainly after the VPN itself, 
or you want the extra protection from the Surfshark One plan, everything here is designed to be simple enough for a first time VPN user, while still giving you the flexibility to tweak things if you like. Hopefully you found this guide helpful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions about Surfshark or if there's something I didn't cover that you'd like to know, just drop that in the comments below. I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.